uh, what we call that we have uh, um, Puan Ruby okay and also we have Madam Noraini here okay as uh, the, the technical person and I think that all of the presenter is here tapi in case uh, if you have any difficulties just uh, check uh, just check in the chat box so that uh, the technical team will take note of uh, whatever problems that, uh, that that occurred, right? During or after the presentation, before, during or after presentation. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, if uh, everyone already here, can we uh, snap a group photo first? This is a ah. report from the secretariat. Okay. Okay. Muka cantik dulu eh. Alright. Uh, uh, hope everyone can uh, sit on the uh, your camera and then uh, I can take a group photo. Okay. Encik Khairil. Uh, Dr. Samalina. Malu lah. Uh, tu lah handsome. Uh, <laughs> Kirin. Nosha Kirin. Jap, jap, jap. Jap, jap, jap. Okay, betul kat tudung dulu. <laughs> we give them, uh, memandang kat sini majority is girls. So we give them some time untuk mencantikkan muka dulu. Shakiri. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> seorang aja eh. Kita ada seorang aja Lelaki di sini. <laughs> Mau cantik lah tu, cukup lah. <sighs> Shakiri. Mana Shakiri? Ah, Shakiri. Shakiri lagi seorang. <coughs> hey, siapa tu? Uh, ya, yeah, sama Lina. I think most of, of uh, uh, the, the 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 what we call that the person in this team is a fam is with familiar faces. Dah pernah nampak, dah pernah jumpa. Okay, <laughs> Ahmad Faris, can you switch on your camera? Komiti ke tu? Madam Nuraini. Ah, uh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, komiti. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, Ika Arman and Shakirin, uh, do you face any problem with the camera in case? Shakirin, uh, Ika dah buka. Shakirin, boleh buka kamera? That is our first presenter yang tak buka kamera lagi ni. Shakirin. Doktor, tak apa ke saya tak guna background because I don't have the background. Oh ya ke? Ah, boleh lah yeah. tu Malaysia. Malaysia. Okay, Macam Malaysia, mana boleh tak? I don't have the background. Tak apa nanti kejap lagi I, I, I hantar nanti dalam okay. group. Okay. 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 Alright. I think Shakirin maybe tak dengar ke atau apa. Maybe we can just snap first. Okay. Just wait for a while. Okay. Uh, okay. Everyone ready? Okay, one, two, three, cheese. Okay, kita one. ada new sama. Uh, Puan Nani, boleh uh, switch on your camera? <laughs> kita yeah. tengah ambil nombor sekarang. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Encik Faris dah buka dah pun. Uh, kan ada dua orang, pemuda. <laughs> okay. Kita tunggu Puan Nani sekejap. Okay. Uh, tu dah ada dah backdrop uh, in case uh, Dr. Samalina. Okay. Alright. We can Kita tukar uh, backdrop. Nak, uh, nak tukar ke Dr. Samalina? Alamak dia macam it takes time because I have to download. <laughs> okay so we just uh, go ahead with this one. Okay okay alright. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, freestyle satu. <laughs> Dengan saya bisa freestyle. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, habis masa dekat tangkap gambar je. <laughs> okay, uh, alright. I think uh, we shall start now. Ada apa-apa lagi ke Manora ini? Uh, tak ada apa dah. Tak ada apa dah eh? Yeah. Alright. Uh, so uh, the presentation will take around 10 minutes. Is it correct for Noraini? Uh, uh, presentation will take uh, 10 minutes and another 5 more minutes is for question and answer. Oh, but okay. if you need extra time you can take another 2 or 3 minutes. Alright. 
Okay, okay, alright. So we shall start now. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, uh, so my name is Dr. Surya Binti Sulaiman again. Okay, welcome to the IJCHT 2021. Okay, and the theme for the slot today is social media application, right? Uh, whereby most, uh, I think every every papers in this slot is uh, referring and uh, uh, did a research on the social media application. Okay, so uh, we have five presenter here for today, all right? And we will start with the first one that will be No Shakirin Shaharuddin on the study on the impact of Instagram influencer on consumer buying behavior. No, Shakirin, are you here? Yes. All right. Okay, you can test your PowerPoint now. And, ah, baru ada muka. Tadi belum ambil gambar kenapa? Tak ada muka. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, and uh, bila dah bersedia, when you're ready, you can start. Okay. okay the floor is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Apologies. Apologies, Sharon. <laughs> All right, that is our my assistant. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear us, uh, Madam Ruby? Oh, tak boleh dengar. Okay, Shakirin, boleh uh, yeah. start with the power. Nampak us slide. We see the slide. No, no, no. We can't see your slide yet. Okay, already. Thank you. Already, okay. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, uh, today, uh, my name is Nushakiri Binti Shahruddin. I will be present uh, the impact of Instagram influences on consumer buying behavior behalf my team members. I will start my presentation with the introduction, problems uh, uh, ending with the So the introduction, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, my my title is um, Instagram influence, uh, the impact of Instagram influence on consumer buying behavior. Yeah. So um, the Instagram is a free online photo sharing That's and yes, social media insight. So, uh, an Instagram influencer you, is yes, an okay. Instagram users with a right, uh, wide range of followers, which is yes. mentioned by Hello. media okay. colleagues, uh, where uh, the Instagram users on which have uh, 1,000 to 10,000 followers is known as Instagram influencer. So, this study will, uh, I will identify uh, two elements which is uh, social influence and the number of followers. Social influence is uh, described as a shift in a person, person talk, emotion, attitude or behavior experience with another person or community. Uh, social influence are divided, um, is known uh, by two which is informational uh, influence and normative influence. Uh, the uh, number of the followers in Instagram, the users are uh, Instagram who uh, the relationship between users in Instagram as known uh, as followers. So uh, mostly the past research uh, is studying about the Instagram influencer on impact on brand, marketing, uh, the comparison between another Instagram influencer, and also the comparison on Instagram investor with other uh, social media influencer, which is Facebook on consumer buying behavior. So uh, this research, um, as the research is not widely spread in the Malaysia, I do this uh, research because I want to know, I want to identify how the consumer in Malaysia uh, react to Instagram influencer. So this research will look uh, more into the factor of 
uh, social influence and number of followers of Instagram influencer on consumer buying behavior. Uh, for the research objective, uh, first, um, this research we identify the relationship between the social influence of Instagram influencer on consumer buying behavior. Uh, second, uh, this um, study we uh, determine the relationship between the number of followers on consumer buying behavior. So for the research framework, I adapted from Firoze 2013, which is uh, my independent variable is Instagram influencer on social influence and number of followers uh, for my independent variable, which is consumer buying behavior. Okay, for the, uh, for the social influence, according to Chu 2014, social influence affect consumer behavior, which is uh, it play part in buying decision, which is uh, the info informational influence having a greater effect than the motive influence. The social influence also uh, can help to form the approach toward the product, which is uh, the social influence of Instagram influencer uh, will make the will in, will make the new product, and also um, it uh, the Instagram influencer social influence will in uh, will create intent uh, from consumer to buy it by year two thousand twelve. For number of followers by uh, study by Vibavi 2018, uh, she said that great, great, greater higher number of followers has a certain impact on the influencer. So that's me when uh, the Instagram influencer uh, higher number of followers, it will make the consumer to attract to them. The social in the uh, so social media in uh, by the study by Agam 2017, social media influencer with high followers count would become more valuable, which is mean that uh, the Instagram influencer who have many followers, uh, who have many followers, uh, will attract the marketer from other uh, from a company uh, to approach them to promote and to deliver their product. For the consumer buying behavior, consumer uh, buying behavior is when uh, the consumer will uh, will uh, will do the process before they they buying uh, they they buying or they purchase a product. So consumer behavior by law 2015, consumer behavior is the understanding of the process that customers experience when they do purchase, and this include factor that affect their decision. So uh, by the study by this, um, I used 2019, <clears throat> she said that consumer tend to pursue specialist opinion today, especially millennials, before making a purchase decision. Uh, nowadays, uh, customer uh, will uh, search for um, any information about the product and also the information about product before they buy the product. So, uh, from uh, the social, uh, from this uh, research review on social influence, it will help the study to know how does the social influence give an impact to the consumer behavior, and also the does the number of does give an impact to consumer buying behavior. So for the methodology, uh, I create my um, questionnaire through the Google form, and then I distribute my questionnaire through the Instagram, WhatsApp, WhatsApp and Facebook, and then I analyze my uh, data collection uh, in SPSS. Uh, as, uh, for the population, uh, Instagram users in Malaysia, uh, which have uh, 12 million, uh, this this data uh, collected last year uh, in 2020. So my sample is an Instagram users uh, that 20 years, uh, who is 20 years old and above in Malaysia. So I managed to get the response on 337 respondent, but the valid respondent that I managed to get is 217. So for the research, I do the analysis in quantity. I have, I have Five part, which is part A, part B, part C, part D, and part E. 
Okay, for the demographic result on the age, uh, the highest respondent uh, is on 79.7%, which is uh, the age on 20 to 29 years old. For the gender, is uh, the highest uh, respondent is female, which is 80.6%. And the highest uh, for the level education uh, respondent is 46.5 on undergraduate. <clears throat> so for the result and finding, uh, for the social influence, uh, it have a strong positive linear relationship, which is uh, Instagram influencer. Social influence has a significant relationship with consumer behind behavior, which on the factor of social influence, on content, opinion, and of Instagram influencer give an impact to consumer buying behavior, which is aligned by study by Vibavi 2018, which is the content presentation is about how well the videography or the photography was involving as it shows professionalism. For the hypothesis two, which is uh, have also the strong positive linear relationship, which is the Instagram influencer number of followers have a significant relationship with consumer buying behavior when on the factor of number of followers, which is on likability, higher perception, acceptance of Instagram influencer give an impact to consumer buying behavior, which is aligned with the study by Vermont 2017, which a high number of followers may do thus lead to higher perception of probability and subsequently higher likability. Okay, for the session, uh, the positive relationship between Instagram influencer, social influence on consumer behavior in on content, which is when the quality of the Instagram influencer doing their content, which is sharing their picture, videos, uh, or stories with their followers, will affect the consumer buying behavior. As an example, as we know, uh, the famous Instagram influencer, one of the famous Instagram influencer in Malaysia, which is uh, Cairo Ami. Carol Amin uh, do his content through the cooking video. Uh, this cooking video attract uh, followers uh, to watch it because uh, how the creativity he do the video when he present his uh, her his cooking. Uh, from there, uh, we can conclude that uh, any followers uh, that watch that video uh, will follow the recipe and also the ingredient that he used will be buying by the follower to do the recipe. Okay, for the next is um inspiration. So uh, when the Instagram feature, uh who's showing their lifestyle with their followers affect the consumer buying behavior because the consumer tend to get an inspiration from Instagram influencer. Uh, this is <clears throat> as an example as we know uh, um, no, no, Nelofa Muhammad no is Nelofa. Okay, when she wearing uh any any scarf or any any outfit, is we make uh this will make her followers to follow how the way she dress, how the way she talk, and this give an inspiration uh to the follower to follow her. So this will make the followers or consumer to buy uh, maybe exactly or maybe some likely like how uh, she dress and uh, how she scarf. And the next is uh, where sharing, when sharing information, uh, when the Instagram influencer sharing their information with their followers affect consumer buying behavior because the consumer tend to get an opinion about product or services from the Instagram, Instagram influencer, which is uh, as an example, um, one of the Instagram influencer, which is Dr. Se, uh, he like to share about the health. So uh, on the how much them of the he has to share about the health on uh, when he use any product, he will give an opinion about that product, and this will make his followers uh, believe and believe the opinion and also uh, will make a um, will make the decision to purchase the product because of Dr. Say. 
okay the next is the positive relationship between instagram influencer number of followers and behavior so the highest number of followers give an impact to consumer buying behavior because the like ability of the product or service that means when uh, the instagram influencer who have highest number of followers this will um, make the followers uh, when the uh, instagram influencer promote or uh, um, introduce about a product this will make the likability of the product increase and then uh, the number of followers give an impact to the consumer buying behavior because higher perception of a probability of product uh, this is me when uh, when uh, instagram influencer who use a product or introduce any product so when uh, consumer or any other followers uh, want to know about that product uh, they uh, search in the google and then uh, the google will show instagram influencer instagram and then uh, the the users we attract to the instagram influencer because it has number of followers and like and then the last uh, is the highest number of followers give an impact to the consumer buying behavior on acceptance of new product or service that's mean when the instagram influencer promote or show any product new product or service this will make uh, other users uh, to to have an acceptance on that new product or service because of instagram influencer so uh, for the conclusion for the implication of study on theoretical this study will provide the reference for literature on instagram influencer and consumer buying behavior and also this study will also provide them in a company an additional reference to improve their marketing strategy for the practical this study will help the marketer in the company to develop their marketing strategies and also uh, this study also can help the existing uh, Instagram influencer okay, to plan and conduct the strategy to attract and persuade uh, the consumer. And also the uh, this study also will help, uh, will attract another Instagram users uh, to be an Instagram influencer to improve their life. So for the suggestion for the future study, uh, this, uh, this study will uh, will improve in finding in the impact of Instagram influencer on consumer buying behavior. Um, and then also uh, this study uh, can be forward to when they're when doing a study uh, on other media social, which is uh, such as that is the famous uh, media social nowadays. And also uh, maybe can add other range respondent uh, to to get more information on consumer buying behavior. So the, the summary of this study, the social influence of Instagram influencer does give an impact to the consumer buying behavior through the content, inspiration, and opinion. The number of followers Instagram influencer does give an impact also to the consumer buying behavior through the likability, higher perception, and acceptance. So as I conclude on uh, this study, the social influencer uh, the Instagram uh, so, uh, Instagram influencer is one of the marketing strategies that are accurate and trustworthy. Before I ending my uh, presentation for today, so here is the um, uh, list of uh, Instagram influencer that are famous in Malaysia. Top ten, which is the number one. Uh, this data I get from website Instagram website. Um, so this data I collect um, from 2020. So the first one is for Muhammad Noor. Second is Nora Danish, and the last is uh, the third is uh, Mira Firza. So uh, below below uh, below this uh, chart uh, is an Instagram influencer earning calculator. Okay, uh, this one uh, is one of the is one of the de detection on how Instagram influencer can earn from their Instagram account. Okay, so that's all uh, from me, thank you.
Okay, thank you, Nosha Kirin. Okay, uh, so uh, the research is on the Instagram influencer. All right, uh, since uh, she's my student, uh, so uh, I don't have any question on that. But then uh, from the floor, is there any question? Okay, we have one question uh, in the chat box. Okay, stated. Okay, uh, we go for uh, Adriana Aziz first. Okay, good morning. What is the earning of the Instagram influencer? Uh, berapa banyak Instagram influencer ni punya uh, pendapatan? Can you answer it, uh, Shakiri? Uh, okay, uh, from my study. So, I have found mostly uh, when the there have a range of followers and also the range of followers will affect the earning of the uh, Instagram influencer which I have shown uh, before this the Instagram earning calculator when we put our uh, Instagram account name so this calculator will calculate how many earnings can get from our Instagram account so how that uh, so the range I have mentioned and as mentioned by media kit which is 1,000 to 10,000 followers is uh, in San Francisco. So from my, uh, from what I get, uh, they will be earning around 100 to 1,000. 100, 100 uh, ringgit Malaysia to 1,000 according to the number of followers. So, so who have many, uh, who has uh, followers uh, on 10,000 to 100,000, uh, he or she will get 100 and 1,000. When uh, she or he uh, promote the product, Okay, thank you, Shakirin. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, uh, so I believe that uh, the the earning of the Instagram influencer is I think is lesser. Okay, lesser than the YouTuber. But then the Instagram influencer, uh, they, yeah. they gain uh, money in terms of reviewing the products. Okay, from the, the the owner itself, owner themselves, they will give uh, uh the 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 what we call personality or the celebrity some token or in terms of money okay that's why people like to to do review all right okay uh so if you're looking in terms of earning uh youtuber uh, will gain more money i think because it uh, depends on the likes and also the, the the hours of viewing the video in youtube okay uh, and we have one more question from i think doctor is it L dr lutfia hidayati yes that's true i am Lutfia. Yeah, okay doctor can you uh, okay you can ask the question to shakiri okay okay thank you assalamualaikum uh i think it's a very interesting thing Hello. about the study on the impact of instagram influencer on consumer buying behavior is that true I'm interested in, uh, in observing that it is true that until today, the use of social media, especially Instagram, is experiencing a, cl a, a climax at the highest position. Uh, will Instagram not be able to yeah. compete with other platforms? And what is the forecast if this Instagram suffer uh, a setback? Uh, I want to know about your opinion about that. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. All right. Okay. I repeat the question, Nusha Kirin. If there are any setback or maybe in the future Instagram is not a popular anymore. Okay. Will there and uh, will be uh, what we call maybe the trend will change or what, what is your opinion towards this thing? Shakirin. Okay. Um, okay. Nowadays. In 2012, uh, 2021, uh, TikTok. TikTok is one the one of the famous um platform right now, uh, which is uh everyone who uh TikTok is one of the famous uh, platform right now, which um I have I have the TikTok, so I have uh, seen many um 
many uh, pers- uh, people or influencer in the TikTok do the video. So uh, right now, um, Instagram influencer is still influence uh, the the uh, the their followers and also um, uh, still have earning the the have the earning. But in right now, the TikTok TikTok is uh, maybe TikTok is the one of the platform that will make the Instagram uh, Instagram influencer will have less earning after this because TikTok uh, if uh, TikTok is more interesting than Instagram that's why I have that is my opinion lah. TikTok is one, okay, uh, I have- one of the Okay, I have a question. Uh, is the tic- uh, nowadays the TikTokers uh, will the TikTok pay the TikTokers now or not? Because the Instagram they will pay based on the on okay, the followers. Um, TikTokers, um, macam mana dia punya cara? Okay, ah uh, TikTok TikTokers. Okay, saya cakap macam Ayu. <laughs> okay, TikTokers. Ah, uh, they get the uh their earnings from the likes and also the gift tiktok provide a gift a gift uh for the tiktokers so when the their their followers give uh, the gift so one gift uh i think um maybe around the gift uh, are different amount but one of the minimum gift i think around uh, 10 ringgit one gift Ten ringgit. Uh, so when the day uh, TikTokers will earn their will earn their will earn their money uh, through the the life their when they do uh, life of TikTok and also uh, their their videos. So when the videos uh, give, um, when the video get so. Uh, the followers will give the gift and they will earn the money from the gift. Okay, interesting. Okay, uh, sebab of course for us, the, the 40s and above, we are not a TikTokers, not a, uh, what we call that, not, not really active in Instagram. For 40s above, I think we are more into the Facebook. Okay, but then it's a, an, an interesting topic for the TikTokers. Mm. Maybe after this, all mm. the academician will move into TikTokers. Okay, let be the TikTokers. <laughs> TikTokers, Instagram influencer. Yeah, yeah let so it TikTok. can be our, our site. Down, 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 download yeah. TikTok. Yeah, download. Of course, we download it. Okay, I would like this session to be more into the sharing session. If you like to ask, if you like to share your opinions, mm. please do so. Okay, because... Uh, we are sharing the, the, the current content. Uh, if you have any question, okay, just uh, raise your hand. Okay, I think that's all for our first presenter. Okay, uh, we can move. Thank you, uh, Misha Kirin. Okay, now we can move to the second presenter. That will be No Afika Arman. Okay, on the topic of the importance of internet as a channel marketing medium and the factors affecting visitors a choice of destination in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, there. Miss Ika. Right? The floor mm. is yours now, Miss Ika. Miss Shakirin, can you please, uh, okay, silent your, eh? your microphone. Okay, thank you. Thank you to the chairperson. Assalamualaikum and good morning to professors, associate professors, doctors, ladies and gentlemen. I am Nurafika Binti Arman and my team members are Madam Adrana, Miss Alvolmi, and Miss Hayati. 
So today I'd like to present our research paper with the title of The Importance of Internet as a Channel Marketing and the Factors Affecting Visitors' Choice of Destination in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Next. Now, let's start with the introduction of social media. Social and digital marketing offers a significant opportunities to organizations through lower costs, improve brand awareness, and increase sales revenue. Social media usage has become an integral element to the lives of many people across the world. Companies nowadays use numerous or plethora of media platforms to advertise their products and services such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, travel bloggers, and so forth. Okay, next. Now, let's talk about Sabah. Sabah is also known as land below the wind, where it is blessed with its nature beauty and with magnificent ancient caves, captivating beaches, beautiful islands, and it also encapsulates the third larger island in the world, where it uh, which is the Borneo Island. As you all can see here, these are some of the main attractions in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. We have Atkinson Tower Clocks, Kota Kinabalu City Mosque, where it is, it is also known as the only floating mosque in Sabah, Tanjung Aru Beach, Tunku Abdul Rahman, and so forth. Next. Now, so the government has been aggressively promoting Kota Kinabalu as an ideal tourist destination. The government are embracing the power of technology and digital world to promote Sabah. So these are the examples of uh, marketing tools that are used by the government to promote Sabah. We have Sabah Tourism Board official account, Twitter, chat way to promote Sabah, and so forth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next. Now, let's talk about the problem statement. Even though we already know that there are plethora of benefits that we'll get by utilizing social media platform as a promotional tools, but nowadays, there are still not many businesses fully utilize internet as a medium in engaging with customers. Well, I have experienced this during my internship at a local travel agent here. I noticed that they don't take social media marketing seriously. What I mean by that is that they don't post content regularly, even though we have a um, official Facebook account. Okay. Um, what I mean by that also, we don't have anyone in charge of our social media account, okay, to promote our products and services daily or regularly. Also, also during internship, um, lack of training, I noticed that lack of training and education in order to raise the digital marketing industry to new stage because I noticed that when I did my internship, my diploma internship, I noticed that the staffs are not well trained on how to utilize social media as a promotional tools on educating public about the products and services. We only care about our regular customer. We only receive phone calls, but we don't post regularly on our social media account, right? Okay, next. Now, research objective. So basically, the objective of this study are to identify the importance of internet as a channel marketing for tourism activities in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. And we also want to identify the factors affecting visitors' choice of destination using internet platforms in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Next. So the research is conducted with the total of 391 respondents where we mainly focus in Kota Kinabalu City. Okay, next. We found out that 61.4% from the respondents are female and another 38.6% are male. And majority of the respondents come from the age of 18 to 30 years. Next. 
So in order to achieve objective number one, which is the importance of internet as a channel of marketing for tourism activities in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, we have prepared 10 questions to the respondents. From the result here, we can see that the internet can help visitors to find any information that relates to travel. Next. Okay. Now, let's talk about the second objective, which is the factors that are affecting visitors' choice of destination using internet platform. So, in this objective, there are four factors their influence, uh, their affecting visitors' choice of destination using internet platforms. The first one is photographer affecting the, intention, the attention of browser. Based on the result, based on the result, we can see that we can see that the pictures through internet or internet of destination can attract visitors to travel. And as a tourist destination marketers, we must invest a great amount of resources to create favorable or desirable image which conquers potential travelers to visit or revisit their destination. Okay, next. Now, let's move on to the second factor, which is the force of viral marketing. We can see that Viral tourist destinations through social media affecting the visitors' decision making to go to any viral destination. Okay, nowadays Instagram made it easy where it is easy for us to explore the viral tourist location by clicking the location that have been attached to a picture or video that have been posted in Instagram or any social media. Okay, next. Now, let's move on to factor number three, individual dream. We can see that the internet platforms enable visitors to get what the visitors need for travel. So as a tourism provider, as a tourism pro supplier, we need to provide something, cater, provide something that can cater the visitors' needs for travel. And next. Now, the last factor, which is simple website content. We can see here that the internet platforms provide visitors to check the rating or the review of the products and services. Well, review and rating of the product is very important because uh, so that we are able to attract visitors to use our products and services. Okay, next. Okay, as for the recommendation, the next questionnaire should be distributed to more respondents so that we can explain, explain the location of the sample so that more data can be gained. Okay, next, the tourism provider should also use online channels to advertise their product services and services. As I mentioned just now, we should grab uh, this opportunity using all those platforms, all those marketing tools in order to advertise, in order to market our products and services. The choice of platforms, the choice of social media platforms depends on the target audience. Also, we need, uh, also the tourism providers should generate con good video content on a regular basis and consider creating YouTube presence. Also, Tourism providers should be committed to creating content that generates value for their audiences. Okay, as I mentioned just now, simple website content. Um, when, uh, when creating website for your product and services, we must keep it simple, keep it concise and informative. Also, uh, not just that, we need to create content regularly, follow trends, for example, using hashtags so that people so that uh, the visitors can uh, can use the hashtag when they're posting a picture or a video. And with the existence, with the website, the tourism providers or the tourism suppliers 
should um, should take that opportunity to address negative feedback, negative feedback, so that the other visitors, so the other people can see how your company address that situation. Take time to reply customers, uh, customers feedback, uh, whether it's good review or negative review. Yeah. Next. So I'd like to conclude that the significance of internet as a marketing tools is uh, is proven now. So we as a tourism provider should take this opportunity to uh, to fully utilize internet as a promotional tools for our products and services. With the introduction of internet, visitors awareness has evolved and has become more has become most popular source of information. Yes, it is proven that. Um, when it comes to choosing vacation spots, vac visitors are looking for information through that will help them make better decision. With that, I end my speech. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Stay safe. All right. Thank you, Miss Ika, Miss Ika Arman. Okay, uh, an interesting topic. Uh, is there any question from the floor? All right, Dr. Salam, uh, Salmalina, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Assalamualaikum, Ika. Okay, it's actually it's a very um, interesting topic. But um, here I have uh, my two cents opinions. Um, if I'm not mistaken, your uh, topic is focusing on internet, right? Yeah. As we know that internet is like a very broad um, definition, which is it's also called as a WWW. So when we talk about digital marketing, uh, this is just my two cents opinion. Maybe it, it, for your, um, I mean, next research, maybe you might... Uh, uh, what you call that, uh, you might think about this uh, as well. Lah. Okay, so instead of using internet as the term for digital marketing, um, why not you put it as um, online platform or maybe you can use um, social media platform. Because as for me, internet is like too broad. When we talk about digital marketing, we will only focus on online platform or social media platform. Okay, so that is just my two cents opinions. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, yes, I think uh, it's a very good suggestion. Uh, you we you can focus more for your later research. All right, but then I would like to ask you a question and your opinion. Okay, uh, during your internship, you stated that you found that uh, most of the uh, what we call that the, the travel agents they did not pay attention on the content of the website or the instagram or any of the submit okay why you think that this happened in the industry what makes them uh reluctant to update all the information on their website what are the what we call the factors that uh makes them don't want to do that okay thank you so much doctor so in my opinion lack of planning and education in uh, social media marketing is also one of the factors. They only focus on uh, accepting or receiving phone calls, but then uh, uh, we as an intern, they don't, really, uh, they don't really educate us on how to handle the, um, the marketing of, the, uh, of our travel agents. So it is for me, it is a well because it is a waste because we have that platform. So, uh, uh, for me, all the tourism providers now should follow the trend, should keep uh, updated. Okay, because we have so many, uh, we have so many marketing tools right now. Right, it's just that we should. Uh, choose which one is suitable for which uh, target of group. Okay. So for me, lack of training and education about social media is one of the problems. Uh, 
right. Thank you, Ika. All right. Uh, uh, but from my observation, I think that the SME, uh, most of the travel agents which is, uh, wish the SMEs, actually they are doing the one-man show. They have to do all the things all by themselves. So they don't have, they don't want to invest on the content creator one person to take care of their accounts for example for the contents so that is the main point why they didn't upload all the contents because they don't have time they, they are the accountants they are the business owner they are the travel uh the the, the what we call that uh the the tour agents they do it all by themselves so i think uh we we have to educate the smes they have to invest or else they have they have to invest them time to do all the content all right uh, is there any more question from the floor uh it's an interesting topic uh, and maybe later you can do on the relationship instead of just the 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 what the mean now you're doing on the mean right for the factors maybe you can further it up uh, doing some of the relationship okay test the relationship Okay, and maybe uh, the the causal, uh, the the cause and effects. Okay, so so that you can, uh, when when you did, uh, when you do this kind of what we call the analysis, you can further, uh, move, um, uh, thinking into moving into sending it to the journal, right? Because kalau min sahaja mungkin dia agak sukar untuk untuk pergi ke journal. But then kalau you masukkan lagi elemen lain, the cause and effect, okay, uh, hypothesis testing for example, benda yang sama, you already have all the the details. You just further up doing the, do the analysis and I believe that you can go to some of the journals that we have here. Right, thank you. Ada lagi from the floor? So can I add up something on this um, uh, uh, Dr. Surya? Of course, you can. <laughs> so actually, I do find uh, an article of uh, actually uh, for the social media. There is an upcoming job, uh, upcoming job of a so content creator, especially for uh, this younger generation uh, going into work sooner. So you actually, you guys, you guys, um, because the the younger generation are more into the social media on the Facebook. Uh, uh, more, mostly them are more into Instagram and TikToks and um, uh, tweet Twitter. So there is uh, example of social media jobs like you, that you can do, uh, such as a social media account manager, marketing manager, graphic designer, copywriter. So that is some of the job that for these youngsters uh, to uh, search for, and also maybe for the um, company to uh, work work on this because social media is becoming part of the norm nowadays. That's something for me. Yes, definitely correct, uh, Madam Ruby. Betul, betul sangat tu. All right, oh, young the youngsters sangatlah aktif dalam social media. It's not like us <laughs> yang slow je nak pick up semua. I think you guys is much more better than us. Okay, uh, if there is, uh, is there any more else? Anything else from the floor? Okay, in that case, we we'll move into the third presenter that will be Dr. Lutfia Hidayati on the topic of the utilization of social media as learning media for students of pre-service teacher education in the pandemic of COVID-19. Okay, the floor mm -hmm. is yours, doctor. Yes, thank you. At the same screen is uh, C, the sound. Okay. Um, good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May we remain in the grace and protection of God. Amin. Dear presenters, uh, moderator and the entire conference committee, thank you for the opportunity given to us to present this article. Uh, this, the two of the article before this is about consumers and uh, about the um, marketing. Yeah. This article uh, is a little different this is the utilization social media on learning okay my article entitled the utilization of social media as learning media 
was student of pre-service teacher education in the pandemic of COVID-19. My team, <coughs> uh, Professor Marniati and Mita Yuniati, the lecturer of the uh, study program of fashion education in Universitas Negeri Surabaya Indonesia. Okay, uh, the background of this article, we know that um, the COVID-19 pandemic, which has hit almost two years around the world, uh, has a real impact on all lines of life, including education. In this regard, many governments are taking steps to avoid the spread of the virus and to ensure that the continuity of the educational process and the university around the world are adopting online learning, optimizing various online media, including social media as learning media. Okay, the next slide is about the advantages of social media usage, that uh, social media is fam very familiar for the people around the world. Uh, uh, in Indonesia, as of January 2000. Uh, 21 has 202.6 million internet users. Uh, YouTube is the most popular social media. And the second uh, is WhatsApp. And the third is Instagram and Facebook in the fourth position. This is the data from beritasatu.com yeah, from Indonesia. Okay. Uh, other advantages of social media that social media is designed to extend human social interaction to use the internet and web technologies and then social media has succeeded in transforming communication practices toward dialogue dialogical uh, communication between many audience and then social media support the democratization of knowledge and information and also Social media transforming human for the user of message content to the creator of the message itself. So the use of social media is generally free for any purpose. So it has the potential to be used as learning resources. Uh, in the next slide, we see that the purpose of social media is uh, so many, yeah, so many, uh, so that uh, from the uh, theory about the social media is uh, very complex and advice to us to see the empirical study of social media as learning media. A previous studies shows that social media used to get information, communicate virtually, explore hobbies, get entertainment, support college assignment, and etc. Yes that uh, and the interesting things about using social media is that the respondent can use the social media at one time uh, i i i think that when a group of student as respondent were doing their homework in front of the laptop screen at the same time they also opened the facebook site to chat listen to the music on youtube and discuss in the whatsapp group yeah. Several other informants made video calls uh, via online, especially uh, Instagram, uh, Skype, and etc. Okay, uh, based on the background above, it is uh, inevitable that the role of social media in supporting the virtual education process is increasingly important. And from the student point of view, the use of social media and teaching and learning process need to be identified as the feedback. So this idea uh, further form the basic of our research. We consider it is important, relevant, and necessary to analyze whether students have adapted to the demand of the technology, technological developing and whether they are satisfied with the use of social media as the main facility in their learning. So the article aims, uh, the first is to identify the type of social media and use 
uh, used in the learning of pre-service teacher education student. And the second is to describe student perception on the use of social media for learning. Okay, and this is the descriptive method, uh, descriptive research. The number of respondents was uh, 270 students from Bachelor of Education uh, Study Program, Universitas Negeri Surabaya, Indonesia. And data collection was carried out in July until December 2020. And then method of data collection is online questionnaire and data analyzed by descriptive analysis. And the result shows uh, the utilization of social media learning. Uh, there are uh, five platforms used in this study program in 2020, yes. Uh, the distribution, the distribution of the utilization of social media, uh, see, on the um, slide, okay, the top position, yeah, is WhatsApp. All of course uses WhatsApp, and the second position is occupied by uh, YouTube. There are twenty courses, yeah use youtube the youtube use is video related to teaching material available on youtube as well as the lecturers themselves making video related to teaching material then uploaded on youtube so that they are easily accessed by students and even the general public who access them students also often get assignment to make tutorial related to learning material and even learning videos during teaching practices as pre-service teacher student and then the third position is occupied by pinterest where there are uh, eight courses yeah or uh, 32 percent of lecturer who use Pinterest in their learning, especially learning related to the field of fashion design, pattern making, textile, shoeing, and other related to the field of fashion studies. This application is quite like uh, because it can uh, save an unlimited number of images in the user's account. Uh, Pinterest is quite helpful for students because uh, there is no need to manually save pictures from the internet to the internal storage of the laptop or computer that way they don't uh, have sacrificed their internal storage space to store uh, image that can be inspiration <clears throat> when making design yeah? available features from collecting and sharing photo message uh, friendship and heart increasingly provide wider opportunities for student and teacher of pinterest users to interact and in the fourth place in is instagram which used as a learning media for this pre-service student instagram and social media is not private space but public space and can be accessed easily so uh, that it that it is unique when used for learning lecturer and student uh, use instagram by sharing uh, 15 to 60 second pictures and videos related to teaching materials uh, that can be posted to other social media sites. And the last uh, position, the fifth position is the Facebook use in learning. Lecturers create course group uh, uh, social with all class members, share material, whether it is the form of link pictures and videos. Uh, this is to add teaching material. Uh, the consultation room and the summary of the material on the note can be used as training or evaluating media by means of student answering exercises or quizzes given by the lecture of Facebook. Okay. Uh, the next slide is uh, about student perception of social media learning. There are uh, 10 aspects. Yeah? Uh, we uh, 
we see on the perception of student okay student perception as shown in the table that according to the student point of view they agree about the role of the social media that can be used to facilitate obtaining information so that all respondents choose the answer uh, agree 85 percent and strongly agree 15 percent yeah almost all and the aspect of ease of communication almost all respondent yeah? 90 95 uh, strongly agree and agree okay while only five percent disagree with the statement that communication is not always easy to do through social media especially if encountered signal difficulties due to many things and the intrinsic motivation of students themselves who did not use social media to communicate okay in the in the aspect of social media for academic discussion uh, there are uh, 80 strongly agree and agree yeah, that academic discussion and virtual learning is strongly supported by the role of social media. Meanwhile, 15% of respondents disagree and 5% strongly disagree with the statement that discussion cannot take place if group members cannot play an active role, especially if signal difficulties are caused by many things. Students who do have a communication limitation are increasingly passive with distant discussion. Far, especially if the discussion is controlled by few students who are uh, too dominant. The long discussion process is sometimes not facilitated by adequate time. So that uh, even though it has utilized the latest sophisticated technology, the discussion objective have not been achieved. Okay, and then in the aspect of social media to motivate uh, to learn as much as 30% uh, strongly agree and 55% agree that the role of social media can increase uh, student learning motivation. And 15% of respondents did not agree yeah, because the process of using social media which often encounter obstacle would cause the learning process to be disrupted. This uh, will cause student motivation and enthous enthusiasm for learn to decrease and they believe that aspect of uh, the carrying capacity of facilities such as social media only play a small role. Uh, motivation will be easier to rise if students have an interest uh, and interest in, wo in what uh, we learn. And then the aspect of social media increasing student learning achievement, uh, only 10% of respondents disagree. Yeah? Almost the same reason as the role of social media increasing motivation, yeah? namely because the process of using social media which often encounter obstacle uh, will cause the learning process uh, to be disrupted so that student motivation and enthusiasm for learning decreases. This decreased motivation inevitably result in decreased learning achievement. Okay, and then the student perception on the ease of use of social media. Okay, uh, all respondent agree. Yeah? All respondent agree, and then uh, while in terms of sp speed of access and clarity, also there are eighteen percent to ninety-five percent of respondent agree. Uh, okay, there are also uh, still 5% to 15% yeah, of respondents who do not agree with the speed and clarity, uh, which is caused as uh, if student encounter signal problem, which uh, of became the main cause of this problem of uh, speed and clarity. The position of student resident scattered in all direction uh, and not always a signal friendly location is, is the biggest obstacle. Okay. And then the economic aspect, as many as 70% uh, of respondents think that social media is quite economical yeah, in terms of cost, while 25% of respondents disagree and 5% strongly disagree yeah, because purchasing credit 
uh, to support the use of social media, they felt was quite high. Uh, one of the reason was because Wi-Fi service was not available, so they had to provide it in the form of internet data package, uh, which were certainly more expensive. Okay, and the last aspect in the student perception is about hardware support. Uh, there are 70% of respondent view that uh, carrying capacity of the hardware is very good because social media cannot only be accessed via mobile phone, but also personal computers and laptop so that students are uh, still able to connect while doing other activities, yeah, especially related to uh, academic activities. And meanwhile, so 20% uh, disagree and 10% strongly disagree because the hardware uh, support determine the ease, speed, and clarity of social media access. Not all students have adequate hardware support so that these devices uh, that are not prime of the encounter difficulties in accessing audio, images, and any other aspect. Okay, the conclusion uh, from the article is the first, the use of social media and learning in the fashion pre-service teacher education program Universitas Negeri Surabaya is very optimal. And the second, uh, student perception of the use of social media and learning is mostly positive. Yeah, It's mostly positive response and we can give a recommendation from this article is it is recommended to use social media as learning media both during the pandemic of COVID-19 and after normally condition. And the second, uh, it needs to be anticipated for users who are in zone that are far from the reach of electricity network and also internet facilities. Okay, uh, I think uh, it is enough to, to me and maybe there are a question and maybe suggestion from the participant, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Lufia. All right, such an interesting uh, topic, which is uh, focus on the uh, social media as the learning tools. Okay, but then I would like to ask a question. Who actually, uh, the, the, what does it mean by pre-service teacher education? What will this student be after they grad actually? Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a good question. <laughs> The pre-service teacher education is a baseline level in Indonesia. Uh, this is the student of uh, fashion education that after they graduate from here, they will be a teacher like that. Yeah, They will be a teacher in the field of a fashion study program. Uh, they can teach in a vocational education school uh, to teach fashion, and also uh, to be teacher in elementary or uh, secondary school, uh, especially in uh, in Indonesia, uh, keterampilan, the skill, skill uh, competencies, especially in fashion education like that. Okay, okay. School of Fashion. This is a very mm. glam faculty, I believe. <laughs> School of Fashion. <laughs> All right. Uh, but then, uh, since it is more into practical instead of a theory, because this is fashion, right? They have to do uh, and to do uh, all the, the the what we call that in terms of fabric, in terms of uh, cutting the the fabric mm. itself. Okay, how the teachers conduct it. Uh, to the students through online. Do you do any tutorials or are you based on the other tutorials from the YouTube or Instagram? Okay, uh, based on the article or uh, the, uh, on the research that social media, especially YouTube, uh, for example, uh, we can use uh, YouTube uh, to be uh, media and also the teacher or lecturer can make a video and then we upload on YouTube like that and the, the student uh, and also uh, people outside the uh, institution 
can use the video that uploaded by a lecturer in the YouTube, especially in uh, fashion uh, material like that. Uh, the material is very, very um, modification, yeah, very, very uh, many variation. Uh, for example, material in uh, design and then textile and then uh, pattern con construction of clothes and then shoeing and etc. So uh, the social media is uh, very uh, helpful for us to um, minim minimizing the abstraction of the material like that. All right, it's a very interesting topic, and I have one of my niece also taking this kind of course, oh. <laughs> and also he's doing it online. And I believe mm -hmm. that maybe sometimes he is struggling to do mm -hmm. all the the work because it's not face to face, whereby the lecturer yes. can see them uh, side by side. It's online, yes. whereby imagine the the fresh one, the fresh <laughs> students, and they learn it all by online. I'm I'm really impressed of the 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 output that he he managed to get, even though it is online. All right. Uh, is there any more question from the floor? Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, you are doing the research. Uh, I mean, the, the analysis is just on the, what we call that, on the mean only for the time being, is it? Okay. Uh, not not the mean, but... Uh, the percentage. Only, yes. Uh, yeah. like, uh, like the, uh, what, what we say, uh, survey, survey like that. Yeah, survey. So this is just yes, a, the pre-survey. So yes. later you are going to develop it into yes. a bigger picture, right? Yes. Okay. All, right. All the best for this uh, topic, for this research. I believe that it can go far since we are already in the pandemic and we don't know when this pandemic will, yes. will end, even though it have come to endemic instead of <laughs> endemic. <laughs> but then it's still, the, 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 the C19 is still there. All right. Any more questions from the floor? Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Lufia. Thank you very much. Okay. Next. Oh, sorry, I mute. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, the effect of perceived benefit, perceived risk and perceived trust towards uh, repurchase intention on online shopping website in Malaysia. Okay, the floor is yours, uh, Mr. Hairi Anwar Bahari. Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning everybody. First of all, thank you Dr. Surya and the rest of the teams. My name is uh, Kairil Anwar bin Bahari. I am from the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management, UITM Pulau Pinang. And the topic for today is uh, the effect of perceived benefits, perceived risk, and perceived trust toward the purchase intentions on online shopping website. And this is my team members. All right. Nowadays, information technology has grown rapidly all over the world. And at the same time, the use of internet is also increasing. It is because internet has provided a lot of benefit to users, including uh, buying and selling products online. The usage of internet is no longer limited as a uh, networking tools but now it uh, used in the global marketplace as a transaction medium for customer and has become a popular platform for providing and trading information services and products. Right? And the growth of internet users has become uh, phenomenal, right? And according to Internet World Statistics, 
2020, there are 4.66 billion active internet users worldwide. And it represents 59.5% uh, of the world total population, right? While there has been a significant uh, in increase in online uh, shopping nowadays, the negative effect of online buying are becoming more relevant. Consumer priorities are more concerned with the, their purchasing intentions. So it has uh, become a, a challenge for retailers in sustaining an effective perceived price, uh, sorry, perceived benefits, perceived trust, and perceived risk. And it's uh, become uh, crucial for business to both attract and retain the uh, loyalty of the customers. And though many research has studied the various factors influencing customer intention to make online pitches, there is a little, little research has been performed to investigate the impact of perceived benefit, perceived trust, and perceived risk toward repurchase intentions. Okay. All right. These are the purpose of the study is aimed to analyze what are the relationship and the influence of customer trust on the perceived risk. Sorry, uh, you can see the slide or not? Something wrong, hold on. Only half of the slide. Oh, gone. No. Oh, Maybe you can uh, stop uh, it first uh, and then present it again. Ah, oh, there. <laughs> I'll try to enlarge the slide. Uh, do. Uh, still mm. not. Done, eh? All right. The aim of the study is to analyze the relationship and influence of customer trust on the perceived risk and repurchase intention as well as the effect of the perceived benefit on the purchase intentions. And how do perceived benefits, perceived risk and perceived trust influence on the line purchase become the research object a question on the study. While to identify the effect of perceived benefit perceived risk and perceived trust online representation we become the research objective all right this study is very significant because it contribute a very important implication both in theory and practical all right for the theory part it enable the user to identify what are the roles of perceived benefit perceived risk and perceived trust and online repurchase intentions. And at the same time, it gives a, a new insight or a new trend on uh, marketing with technologies as compared uh, before. And additionally, e-vendor or e-retailers could develop and maintain better quality of website and provide more benefits to the product to improve customer adoptions. And next is it enable consumer to enjoy better online buying service and less risky in the context of self-service technology, right? And in this study, there are four important uh, variables and I have developed four hypotheses on this study, which is HY will be the perceived benefit is positively influenced on the purchase intentions. And H2 will be perceived trust is positively influence the repurchase intentions. And H3 is uh, perceived trust is negatively influence perceived risk. And next one is perceived risk is negatively influence on the repurchase intention. And in the literature review, there are also four variables that need to define and to review, which is the purchase intention has been defined as a subjective possibility that a person will continue to buy a product and services online for the vendors and store in the future. In other words, is uh, consumer have a positive attitude toward retailers 
the intention to repurchase will indirectly make them continue to make a repeat purchase in the future. And next is one of the most important variable in this study is a perceived benefit. And it has been defined that the consumer belief and satisfaction with internet and the consumer perceptive that internet shopping is efficient, convenient, more various but also less risky as compared to the conventional shopping. <clears throat> Additionally, uh, benefit, uh, ben uh, perceived benefit is felt when um, consumer have a subjective perceptions when making an online purchase and they find that the product is uh, beneficial for them. If a uh, consumer find that the level of benefit heard is higher, it will make them, sorry, it will make their intentions to buy online will be also increased. And another important variable is uh, perceived trust. And it has to be defined that uh, a positive belief in trustworthiness and reliability of person of object. And beside that, the previous study in business strategy has shown that the online trust is uh, by consumer is said to be very important and need to be given attention because it reduces perceived risk and increase customer satisfaction. And next one will be perceived risk and it should be defined as a potential loss in achieving desired result when shopping online, it is a combination of something uncertain and uh, possible undesirable. And uh, moreover, uh, consumer argue that the higher the perceived risk of making online transactions, the less their buy intentions are for the online retailers. And consumer, consumer will have negative feeling when they intend to buy online due to risk that they may face. Right. As for the methodology and for the data collections, uh, the data collection uh, was carried out from online buyers who had uh, experience uh, buying online product or services for at least um, for the past 12 months. And uh, self administrative uh, survey approach was used to collect the data through online survey. And 300 respondents has been answered the questionnaire completely. All right, and the survey respondents were invited to participate in the study through email. All right, and next one what? Okay, some finding and discussion here. According to result of a Pearson Coalitions, it stated that and based on the value, it shows that perceived benefit has the strongest positive relationship with the purchase intentions and make this variable more significant in influencing the purchase intentions among the customer. And the result also show that there is a positive and significant impact on consumer's trust on the purchase intentions. And Persist risk is also effect on purchase intention and related to purchaser intention. All right. Uh, next is uh, finding and discussion. All right. So in the context of online buying, perceived benefit positively influence the customer purchase intentions, and customer agree that there are several advantages, and it is more convenient when shopping online. Perceived benefit are more important factor that motivate online. And moreover, perceived risk were influenced negatively on online shopping attitudes. And it was a major barrier to online shopping, right? And consumer does not do not trust the ability of online store to protect their personal information. Uh, many respondents still perceive that uh, online shopping is risky. In the other words, Customer online shopping intention will be indirectly decreased if they consider it risky, right? And the result also show, show that the trust has a significant influence on buying intention in terms of 
website visit, increase online orders, sign up, and so on. All right. However, all right, there are certain limitations on this study. All right. Uh, the research used simple sampling methods are used, and the probability of raising the result is not too high. And this study only pay attention to the effect of perceived benefit, perceived risk, and perceived trust on online customer purchase intentions. Other factor that might include in future maybe uh to more to get more uh bigger size of the sample portions okay and uh another recommendation here is uh taking to account the impact of other factor for example perceived is of use the price the brand image and so on right and future research also can be done in other different country of course, this research is only focusing in uh, Malaysia. All right. And last but not least, a higher number of respondents will allow to more robust static analysis. I think that's all from me. Thank you very much, everybody. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Encik Kairil. Okay. Is there any question from the floor? Any question regarding shopping online? I believe that this is a very interesting topic, especially for the woman shopping online. I believe all of us like to shop online. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nine, nine, ten, ten, eight, eight, seven, seven. All the numbers. Everyone, so, we everybody, have the, 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 the white date. <laughs> yes, all of us are waiting for the dates. All right, uh, Encik Hairil, uh, do you think yeah. there is any changes in terms of the trend now, uh, especially during the COVID? What are the, the, the new trend during the COVID in terms of shopping online? I think this time it will keep on continuing, I think, for another few years because when you do shopping online, it gives more benefit to the consumer because they spend less time maybe spend less money, uh, less effort, so that I think this time we keep on continuing until quite a long time because we won't stop. Because if you go to direct to the shop, maybe it take a long time, need to pay more, a lot of effort and so on. So customer, <laughs> customer prefer to do more online. Of course, of they have to consider about the risk and trust and benefit they get before they decide to purchase and repurchase again and again in the future. I think this time we keep on continuing. I'm not sure for how long, maybe I don't know, five years, ten years, or maybe forever, because from time to time, you know, there are a lot of products, a lot of services have been offered in online. So people keep on looking for something new through online. And it's easy to reach instead of going to KL, for example, they can go through the internet, they can find it anywhere, even overseas or anywhere. Right? I think that's one for my opinion. Yes, yes. Definitely correct. Now we can get everything online. Yes, Dr. Samalida. Any question or sharing from you? Okay, uh, Encik Kaira, I have a question because this research is focusing on repurchase intention. Yes. So I would like to ask, uh, when I look into the um, results, it's found that perceived risk negatively influence repurchase intention. I understand if it's purchase intention, but when it comes to repurchase, so in your opinion, why is this happen? Because they already purchased and suddenly repurchase. So why why did they, 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 they negative? I mean, the result is right. showing negatively influence. Uh, on my opinion, uh, for the first first case, basically they want to do something like trial and error. Okay, they not sure what the risk, whether what are the benefit. So they will try to buy the for the first time first. Okay. So after their first purchase, there they will try average. What are the benefit they get? Is there any risk? What are the risk? Is it high risk or low risk? So if there is they found that the risk is quite low, then the intention to buy repurchase again will be increased. If they find out that their first purchase is uh, risky, for example, um, the product is uh, arrived very late. The quality is not same as advertised in the in the uh, advertisement. Then they will not go for the second purchase. So that's what I mean that by 
uh, uh, risky will uh, the risk will influence the repetitive tensions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right, I think in terms of perceived risk, I think the generation, the 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 older generation, maybe we uh, the thing will be quite complicated for us. Right, yeah. we think about everything before we purchase online. But then for the younger generation, for the millennial, they just click 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 and check out. Us, yeah. we have a lot of abandoned cart in Shopee. Click click click, but then you. never get, <laughs> never get out from the cart. Okay, we we tend yeah. to click click click, but then no check out. All right, any more question? From the floor or sharing or you like to share anything regarding shopping online okay adriana say it is an addiction of course yeah, especially when, especially <laughs> even myself sometimes nothing to do yeah <laughs> look for shopping or other then buy new things then it's uh, like what shopping online yeah. or what we call that window shopping online window shopping. <laughs> for us lah. For us, and and, and uh, since it is most most of the time we are at home, so it's like uh, what? therapy, is it? <laughs> therapy, yes, no, no, yes, it's a therapy. It's not, it's a therapy for us. Okay, just click, 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 but then never check out. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Kairil, and okay. we move to the last presenter. Okay, that will be No Akila Shabudin with the topic on the factors influencing user continued uh, usage intention of mobile hotel booking apps. Okay, no Akila. Okay, the mm -hmm. floor is yours. Thank you. While waiting for Akila, uh, we have uh, there request from Dr. Lufia. You can share your email there so that later maybe we can collaborate or we can contact each other so that maybe uh, for, for a better uh, journal of paper later. Okay, you can share it uh, in the chat box. Thank you. All right. Mm, Dr. Shulia, can you see my slide? Yes, clear. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi. I bid to the pre, uh, the respected panelists which are Dr. Surya and others. Today's presentation is an about factors influencing users continue user intention of mobile hotel booking apps. But first of all, let me introduce myself. So my name is Tor Akila Mithi Shabrin and the others is my uh, supported team which is uh, Dahlan Abdullah Hussein, and Hussein Khan Ramatullah Khan. So, uh, uh, I will start uh, with the presentation outline and this the, is the detail of presentation outline that I will present today. So, in this slide, I'm going to focus on the research problem that I have advised. The problem is we want people to continue using the technology. When I do this research, I want people to continue using the technology, for example, application of mobile phone. So this is the technology. So this is the because there are scarce amount of research in Malaysia. This research can help others developer of app of other researchers to improve their mobile app and how to tackle the people who are using it. On the other words, it is a friendly user and there are enough information for the users to use MHBA. Those criteria is important for them to choose users to use and sorry, those criteria is important for them to choose what is the best choice of hotel for them to stay so that they will continue or become loyal to use this technology in the future. We continue to, to the next slide, which is the problem statement. 
based on what I have read, now I want to tell all of you that there are more, there are more and more people are looking into this issue. This is to make sure that people keep to use this technology. However, these studies are still limited, which is stated from Fong Lam and Law 2017. Therefore, this study aim keep people to use this technology. So this is the research objective and the research question. There are one uh, RO and RQ, which is to examine the effect of your top predators, uh, which is performance expectancy, effort expectancy, social influence and facilitating condition on continued user intention of mobile hotel booking app. For the research question, do the your top predators uh, have an effect on the continued user intention of mobile hotel booking apps? So this is the literature review and hypothesis development that I have put in my studies. Uh, uh, this is from Vekatesh et al. 2003. And there are two type of uh, UTOP predictors, which is UTOP 1 and UTOP 2. And I put in my studies, which is I test a direct, a direct, direct study, which is uh, there are four uh, hypothesis that I developed in my studies. First of all, uh, in the literature review is overview of mobile hotel booking app application in Malaysia. Uh, second, underlying theory, which is unified theory of acceptance and use of technology, which is UTOP. Third, uh, performance expectancy. Fourth, effort expectancy. Fourth, social influence. Sixth, facilitating condition. And lastly, continue user's intention of mobile hotel booking apps. So there are four hypothesis development. Uh, for the research methodology, for the research design, uh, I use a quantitative, quantitative method for the unit of analysis, the individual users of uh, mobile hotel booking app for the population and sample size. For the population, Malaysia registered leaked in users who had used mobile hotel booking app based on power analysis, the minimum sample size required to test the proposed conceptual framework is 129. However, 200 samples be, will be collected, which is from fall at all 2009. For the sampling technique, uh, the studies use purposes sampling and the instru um, instrument development is 16 items. For the data collection procedure, an invitation trace has been posted in Malaysia travel, travel related forward and blog. And the second one is based on 20% response rate in similar studies which is from Lee Trial and Elden 2013, 1,000 invitation messages were sent out to potential respondents. For the data analysis technique, after data cleaning, the corrected data was analyzed using SPACE and software and smart and software. This is the data analysis and finding. The univariate and multivariate normality test result, measurement model assessment, Intercorrelation metric funnel and locker criteria, the cross loading output using smart PLS, and HTMT, which is how to trade, how to retreat, monitor, ratio of correlation. And the important one is the part coefficient, objective statistic, significant level for all hypothesis part. There are four hypotheses, and all the hypotheses is supported in my studies. Okay, for the discussion and conclusion. Firstly, uh, we go to the contribution of the study. This study is significant for theoretical advancement and management of the highly competitive hotel sector. For the theoretically, the present study extends the original model you thought by doing the role of customer perceivability to mobile hotel booking app reuses intention. For the practical, the finding of the present study could provide a new insight hotelier and online travel agency on how to enhance customer intention to continue using mobile hotel booking apps. For the limitation and future research, firstly, this study only conducted in Malaysia and the data is gathered just from linked in users. For the duplic uh, and then the they keep this study in multiple nations and service situation. The second one, the study key endogenous variable was de desired to be used. So you use your top two to test individual to quantify actual behavior so that we can put uh, as for many other types and age, uh, age uh, and others. 
for the third one is potential it potential effect women unclear by not testing mediating uh, maybe for the future research uh, we can try to test utilitarian value and hedonic value as mediating and the lastly the disparity between ota and H mhba app channel will not consider so uh, for the future research it can compare with user continue users level for different type of mhb channel for the conclusion uh, the relationship between the utah variable which is performance expectancy effort expectancy social influence and personality condition the influence continue users intention to use mhba was investigated so one research question is established however four hypotheses were found to be supported by the analysis that's all for me thank you all right thank you akila uh such an interesting topic okay uh, mobile hotel booking apps all right uh, does this research referring to the hotel uh booking apps or uh is included the agoda and all that yes uh it includes agoda and agoda uh, booking.com and others agoda and as well as the hotel website is yeah. it yeah all right what are the uh do you think that people love to go to the hotel website or apps hotel apps or okay. people mm -hmm. re, uh, prefer to go to the one 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 site destination such as agoda and others okay based on what i have reading i had reading uh i think uh the the people love to use a mobile hotel booking app because uh the it, it is easy to them easy to them to to look out and to search uh what uh the review from the others maybe uh maybe uh when they use uh, the website uh it it can be hard to 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 search uh the the apps that they want uh, maybe for example agoda booking.com so that if they want to use the apps one they can download uh, the app in the app store so they meaning that they, they they want they they usually use the agoda instead of specific hotel apps is it yeah yeah That's right. Uh, yeah. or, or the other way around uh, maybe uh, they can choose uh, the bet uh, what is the better app for them yeah but then i believe that i think most of us will go into the uh, website like agoda booking.com mm -hmm. because it's, it is uh, in one stop center whereby we can review there and we can do the what we call the in terms of purchase price because uh, it will uh, state that the best price for each of the hotel and usually yes one stop center and usually we don't want to download so many apps in our phone mm -hmm. so one or two is enough instead of going to each and every what we call that hotel apps yeah. specific hotel apps okay um such an interesting topic is there any more question from the floor uh samalina dr samalina Okay, hi Akila. Hi. Okay, I have a question regarding your um, sampling. Um, so it's stated on your slide, uh, your sampling, uh, it's purposive sampling, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you please explain a little bit on uh, how do you filter um, your respondents? Okay, uh, for the purposive sampling, uh, I take a uh, the all the people at the linked in users in the app linked in users so um before i use uh before i send the google form questioning i use a filtering question so that when uh they do not go to the uh, use hotel booking app so they do not answer my questioning google form okay is it before or when you uh, send the google form i mean the screening question is in the google form uh, sorry 
can can you, you just read your question first before you send out the question uh, to the respondent ah uh, yes so how do you do it uh in the google in the google form screening question so there is this uh, which is mean that in your google form there mm -hmm. is one section that you yeah. ask the question accordingly and then if they answer it no and then they need to proceed to another question or thank you very much ah, uh, yeah, yeah. for the participation yeah yeah is it ah uh, yes okay thank you right so meaning that during you uh during it is in the google form that is the screen question mm -hmm. is in the google form right not before that mm -hmm. okay any more question from the floor mobile booking apps i think now uh um maybe a lot of people will go to this app since we can move from one daerah to another daerah now mm -hmm. <laughs> right uh wait for the border then maybe uh, the, the the traffic towards the apps will be much more better right? better for the tourism of the country as well okay mm -hmm. i believe uh travel bubble yes Okay, I believe I think that's all for our session. But then before that, uh, according to the committee, uh, uh, Miss Ruby, can you please uh, uh, tell us what we must do after this? Hello, Assalamualaikum. So um, the committee instructed me to uh, for us to have a group photo. So maybe can we all open our camera and we do uh, I uh, count I, I count one to three and then we snap in one or two pictures of us as a, a token of um, reminder history in the making. Shafika, Nur Shakirin, Madam Nani. Oh, Madam Naraini, my, my background. Shakirin, oh. where are you? Lagi sekali dia tak ada. Dua-dua kali ambil gambar, dua-dua kali tak ada. Ha. Ada, ada, ada. Okay. Kejap, kejap. Kejap, oh, betul ke tudung? Tengok, tengok. So, a very wonderful session for today. So, it is a very um, eye-opening session, uh, especially on social media. This is something that is trending. Something that's trending. And um, uh, furthermore, about the um, the newly travel bubble to Langkawi. So, hopefully, everyone don't cram the Langkawi yet. Uh, we have to wait for it to be um, perfectly safe and normal again. Inshallah. So everyone ready? Shafika? Shakirin? Where Shakirin, are you? Shakirin, where are you? Shakirin? Line dia ke? Maybe lah. So can I have a snap first? Okay. Alright. Okay, so I can't want to three. So we room. have a, we have a formal one first hmm. or you just, you guys want to do a, a, just a freestyle? Formal first. Formal first. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Satu, dua, tiga. Okay. That one is the formal one. Wait, wait. I paste it somewhere formal. first. If not, it will be lost forever. Wait, ah. Uh. Okay. The next one. Um. Okay. Uh, this will be a lot of freestyle, maybe. Some <laughs> Can I have some mini love? Love, what is the love? <laughs> tak nampak. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. Thank you, everyone. So hopefully, if there is a changes in the name of the presenter or the title of the paper, can uh, can uh, you guys uh, leave, uh, leave me a note? Okay. So I will post the picture to the group of WhatsApp, yeah, Peter. Mm. All right. Okay. So up to you. Uh, uh back to you, Miss Chairman. 
All right. I believe that's all for today. It's a very uh, very nice to see all of you safe and sound in the uh, even though it's online. All right. Uh, and it's very interesting topic. And I hope that uh, we can later, maybe next year in another conference. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Assalamualaikum. Sarahe.